today we're gonna to be making a football cocoon. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some brown yarn. This is, I love this yarn, super soft, super savings. And the color is, what's the color name? I think it's just brown, it says. Okay. I also have white in I Love This Yarn. And the white is just white. Okay, you're going to need a crochet hook. This is my um, H crochet hook. And a yarning needle. And some scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a magic ring. So we need to make a slip knot. So we're gonna wrap, we're gonna wrap the yarn around your finger twice. Hold the tail with your thumb and your middle finger. You're gonna pull the back over to the front. Grab the back now, which it was the front prior. See how it's changed. And you're gonna pull that off of your hook, or off your finger, and then pull tight. Insert hook and pull. Okay, now to make a magic ring, it's really simple. All you're gonna do is chain up three. So here's one, two, three, and you're gonna slip stitch into the first chain. So slip stitch, you go in, pull the yarn through, and then through the loop on your hook. Okay, and now I like to pull it apart and stick my finger where I know it's gonna go. So we're gonna chain up three, two, three. This counts as our first DC, which is a double crochet. Insert our hook into the middle of the, the magic ring. Pull through. Then we're gonna go through two and go through two. Okay, and I like to work my tail over while I'm doing this. So again, yarn over, insert your hook through the loop, pull yarn through, and then you're gonna go through two and two. There's three, four, five, six. We want eight total. Seven and eight. So we can count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to slip stitch into the chain three. So with one, two, and three, that ends the first round. And then I just like to pull the tail nice and tight and that closes the hole. We're gonna chain up three. One, two, three. We chained up three and we're gonna put one more double crochet in this, where the chain three comes out of. See the stitch right here? So I'm gonna put one more in here. Okay, and then we're gonna put two around in each of them. And what we should have at the end is 16. So there's four, five, six, seven, Eight, sorry, I'm trying to pull yarn. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oop, <coughs> twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and that completes that round. See how we've made it bigger? We've done an increase. Okay, so now we're gonna slip stitch into the third. One, two, three, and we're gonna go directly into it. We're not gonna try to hook both of them together. We're gonna chain up three. That counts as your first DC in every round. Okay, so what we're gonna do now 
is we're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, one double crochet in the stitch after that, and then two double crochets after that. So it's two double crochets, one, two, now we need one. Okay, next is two. And then one, two together, then one. And you can see it's already folding in. That's exactly what you want. Now we need two. And then one in between. Now we need one in the next stitch, two in the stitch after that. So one two into the same stitch. Now we need one double crochet in the next stitch and two in the next after that. See? One double crochet, two together. And we should end on two double crochets together. Okay, count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We should have 24 stitches total. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top. 1, 2, 3. Bam. We're going to chain up 3. So this again counts as the first stitch. So the next stitch we need to do one double crochet and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So you see that pattern? One double, one double, two. So we're going to do one double crochet in the next two stitches and then two double crochet in the stitch following that one. That should help. Okay, so now we do <clears throat> one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch after that, and then two double crochet. Okay, one double, one double crochet, and then the next stitch, and two double crochets in the stitch after that. See? We have two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, two. So now we need one in the next stitch. Oops. And one in the stitch after that. And then two. One. This is the last stitch. We should have two double crochets in that stitch to complete round the next that round. So we're going to slip stitch in the third, one, two, three, right into the middle. And when you go into the middle, you want to make sure you're grabbing right through the middle. You don't want to go through just this side. You want to go through directly in the middle here. Okay. So what I like to do now is flip it the correct way. So we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the stitch after that and then two double crochets in the next stitch so we have three single crochets by the, uh, blue we have three double crochets by themselves and then a two double crochets together in the same stitch one two three and then two so that's the pattern for this round let me show you again and then you can finish it on your own so one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet, and then two double crochets in the next stitch together. So we have one, two, three, and then two. One, two, 
three and then two together one and two okay so go ahead and finish that round off so chain one chain two chain three okay so we're gonna put in the next three stitches one double crochet so there's one two three and then two doubles and then two double crochets together so there's one two so now it's four doubles by themselves one two three and four and then two together so let's do it one more time and then you can finish this round on your own so four in the next four stitches one two three four and then two in the next stitch one and two see that there's the double we did before so one two three four should be in between both doubles okay Let's go ahead and finish that round four double crochets in the next four stitches in the fifth stitch you're going to put two doubles so we're gonna have five one two three chain we're gonna have five by themselves now instead of four so we need four more so there's one here's two three four five one two three four five because the chain up counts and then we're going to put two together one and two so that's this pattern you're going to put five by themselves one two three four five and then two together so let's do it one more time so in the next five stitches we're going to put one double crochet there's one and two and three four five in the sixth stitch we're going to put two double crochets so there's one and two okay so go ahead and continue this pattern around okay so when it's laying like this this is where the baby's legs and feet are going to go this will start to curve in and go straight once we're done increasing so let's chain up three so if we had five in between each double crochet what should this round have six that is correct so we have one we need five more so there's two total three four five and six one two three four five six and then two together okay so we're gonna need one double crochet in the next six stitches and the seventh stitch will hold two double crochets so here's one two three four five and six so the seventh stitch will hold two double crochets together Oop, one and two so in between so here's one our last double one two three four five six and we have two together so go ahead and continue this all the way around but we're going to change colors right here so we're going to Cut a tail, not too long. We can weave that in later. So now we're gonna grab our white. <coughs> and I'm gonna make um, a slip knot again. Leaving the brown on my hook. I'm going to put the white on my hook. Yarn the white over. Holding both ends from them, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Yes, that looks a little weird. You're going to pull the brown tight, pull the white tight. Hold those into place. 
because what we're going to do is we're going to crochet them together right now so that they don't come apart again. So we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to drop them in the back and then I will weave those in later. So now this round is just one double crochet in every stitch around. Um, you should have 64 at the end. And you're going to repeat this round one more time with the white and then we will change colors again. So I will come back when I have my two rounds of white completed and then we'll change colors. Brown. Make our slip stitch, slip knot, sorry. This just secures it into place. Okay. <clears throat> so holding both tails. Well, let's tighten that one. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go in, and again, it's gonna look a little cockeyed for now. It'll it'll fix itself. We're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, so for this round, we're going to do one single crochet around like the last round, but again, to secure these into place, we're going to crochet them um, under the first stitch, just like so, and then put them into the back. Okay, so we're going to continue around for one double crochet around, um, and you're basically going to continue that until it's the length that you desire. Um, I think we're gonna do one double crochet around. Again, you should have 64 D double crochets together. And after we hit the 30, we will check and see what it looks like. And if we need to go a little bit bigger, we will. Okay, so I just finished my 30th round. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn. Then I'm going to chain one and pull through. And here's the length for what I got, which I like this length a lot. Okay, here's the length. If you think it's too short, you can go longer. You just keep going around and see how I told you the sides would start to curve up. <coughs> so now we're going to put probably about here the football stitch down and the stitches. See, I wanted to make it a little bit longer so that you can, if you have a smaller baby, you can fold the ends over like that. Um, I just thought it would look cuter. Okay, so let's go ahead, set that aside, and start on the, um, the seams of the football. And so we're going to make a slip knot. Sorry, I have emails. Okay, so we're going to start with a slip knot. Okay. Now for the, um, the seam of the football, it's going to go about here. Uh, I'm going to chain 17. So, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I don't know if that's long enough. I'm going to see. I don't think it's long enough. I'm going to make it a little longer. So let's do 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <clears throat> I think 25 is a good one. And then we'll be able to put one, two, three, and then four football stitches there. Okay, so I think that's enough. I'm going to chain up one more. Okay. Going to cut my yarn and pull that one through, which is going to form a knot. 
And now what we have to do is we're going to have to sew these in side and it'll sit there like this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next stitch. <clears throat> we're just going to, you know, seal it down as we go. Going in and out of each of the stitches. Okay, into the next. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the five um, stitches. So we're going to just chain up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That might even be Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so then we're going to chain up one more, just like we did the other one. We're going to cut a nice tail, and we're going to pull that through. Okay, and then this one will go up here. We'll make four more. Go ahead and do that, and then we will sew them together. Okay, so I just made all of them, and what I'm going to do is pin them where I want them. Just right in the middle. I'm just gonna stick. I'm gonna stick my pin to there so I know where they're going. So I say every fifth one down, you should be able to put one. We count one, two, three, four, and five. You can put one there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna put it on the sixth one. What one, two, three, four, five here? We're gonna put it here. And then the last one's gonna go right on the end. Okay, so that's how it'll be, just like that. Now you're just gonna go ahead and sew them in the same way we sewed the middle. Mm -hmm. 